Worthy is the Lamb that was slaughtered to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might, and in honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in the heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, and that is in them, singing to the one who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. Be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. I lay down my life for the sheep. 
I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock and one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of our Lord. Be God. Grace and peace to you from God our Creator, from Jesus Christ, God's only Son. Amen. I do invite you to look at the cover on your bulletins. Ancient 
early Christian history, but um, in the 500s year, 500 AD, when Constantinople um, was in power, and then he had some vision, miracle, and then he decreed that everybody would be baptized as a Christian under threat of death by a sword. So then, after that happened, and then religion and Christianity became essentially the state religion then, that's when the cross came into being and power, and then the image of Christ as a king came into being. And after that, this image of shepherd was not used, which um, we kind of still live through to this day. But what would it look like, you know, we could have been talking about this, that for those earliest Christians, what they believed in and felt was the victory of God in death, symbolized through the great shepherd. And then as time went on, when power came into being, then they traded those joyous images for symbols of the cross and then anguish and suffering. And they lost that sense of joy. And I hope I'm, I'm making some sense here. And I'm not saying that the cross is bad by no means, by no means. But I think we've lost something through the years. I remember on Easter Sunday, we Mary Magdalene, and we talked about, again, the tomb, tomb to the table. Jesus did not take those first resurrection appearances. He didn't take them back to Calvary. He didn't take them back to the site of the crucifixion. He met them in a meal. And then last Sunday, in Jesus' third resurrection appearance in God's, John's Gospel, the disciples went way back north, up to Galilee. Remember, children, you have no fish, have you? Remember last Sunday? And Jesus met them on the beach, and he sent them a meal of fish and bread. And what I, I cheated a little bit last Sunday, again, on the lectionary. And what I did not read last Sunday, that was part of the assigned readings that I should, should have, but I, I wanted to keep um, that imagery of Jesus at the breakfast in front of us. So right after they have finished breakfast, they've had their breakfast, and that Jesus and Peter have a conversation. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, do you love me? And Peter says, yes, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. And Jesus asked Peter the second time, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I do. And Jesus said, tend my sheep. And a third time, remember, Peter denied Christ three times, his discipleship. And Jesus asked him one more time, do you love me? And Peter said again, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Lord, you know everything. And Jesus said for a third time, feed my sheep. So to me, this imagery of sheep, and that is what Peter was left with. And think about how Christianity spread from these 11 disciples and then the women that were following, that we don't get to read much about, but they were right there, the earliest disciples. And it all comes from Peter being told to feed my sheep. So going back again, to the image of Jesus carrying a goat. What do you remember about goats in the Bible, especially Matthew's Gospel? Who does Jesus separate? I mean, in his parables. The sheep and the goats are separated. And you don't want to be a goat. Do you find it very powerful 
that the earliest symbol of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, is that he's carrying a goat. Amen. We'll now sing, uh, um, insert in your bulletins, The Lord is My Shepherd. <laughs> and it's 778, The Lord is My Shepherd. <laughs>
church, O God. Encourage bishops, pastors, and deacons in their proclamation of the gospel. Raise up new leaders and encourage those pursuing a call to ministry. Embolden all the baptized to embody your love and justice. Shepherd us, O God, beyond our wants, beyond our fears. Seek out those who weep while they await healing or consolation. We lay these now silently in our hearts. Set people in their path who can provide the care they need and wipe away every tear from their eyes. Shepherd us, O God, beyond our wants, beyond our fears. Life. Nourish this congregation, O oh God. Prepare a table where we receive food for our offering spirits. Renew our commitment to find one another and revitalize our ministries of feeding and nurturing hungry neighbors. Shepherd us, O oh God, beyond our wants and beyond our fears. And yeah, fold in us the great multitudes of saints from every nation, from every tribe, people, and languages. Wash us in your saving grace every day, guiding us to the waters of life. Shepherd us, O God, beyond our wants, beyond our fears. Death into life. God, you are our future, leading us to the valley of the shadow of death, and preparing a table for us with all of your saints. Let your goodness and mercy follow us until we dwell in your house forever. Shepherd us, O oh God, beyond our wants, beyond our fears. From death into life. We will dwell in the house of our God forevermore. Shepherd us, O oh God, beyond our wants, beyond our fears. From death into life. Amen. The peace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. I'd like at this time to share the peace and love of Christ with one another. Be well in Christ. Be well in Christ. Peace to the Lord be with you all. Be well in Christ. For communion today, I will say the words of institution, and then we will all pray the Lord's Prayer together, and then we will sing the Lamb of God, and I know that you all know the Lamb of God from Pretty much sing it. Um, that beautiful liturgy, most Sundays, and then the communion will be brought to you, and as communion is brought to you, I will find the communion service be bringing you, um, and you can see a, a sample there in the, uh, our clay pottery for our online, what we are giving out is we've taken the theme that we've been following this Easter in the season of Lent was our cross, not the cross actually, it was the sheep in our clay pots, and that we were climbing, we weren't climbing the ladders of uh, that you had to be perfection now. We had the ladder of good enough. And so we've made a ladder out of crosses of good enough, but it still has the cross. And we invite you when you get home, if you still have your clay pot, to put it in there at home with your sheep and uh, hopefully still so your cat grass growing and your fake succulents. saying, take and eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, 
this cup, the new covenant in my blood, shed to you for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of you. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. bread, we share the body of Christ. Come to the banquet, for all is now bread. <laughs> benediction 
that we just said is said in the life of the church only two times. When you are at the committal at the graveside, not the combination of the church, but the committal at the graveside, this is the last prayer said. And then for pastors who are ordained, this is the benediction said at that pastor's ordination service. A beautiful benediction. I now invite you to sing Amazing Grace. about Mother's Day, and it's good to talk about, you know, your lost loved one, your loved one, and that's when the idea was born to have cakes of our mothers. And my Mother's Day, my mother's cake as we grew up was angel food with a Hershey's melted and heavy whipped cream, and you cut the angel food in half to get the inner chocolate layer, and this is made yesterday for Rick's birthday. We're down in Chippewa and in my own family at my sister's house, we're now teaching our youngest nieces and that to make the cake. So this was made by 
Diane, my sister's uh, granddaughter, and we're passing on that tradition. So this is it. The cake I've always talked about. Chocolate angel food cake. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, and with that, um, go in peace. Um, and we have a wonderful lunch today at croissants and cakes. So go in peace. Serve the Lord. And serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. We will.